Well folks, morning of day three here. We have some pretty juicy conditions from what it looks like. We're still kind of coming out of that cold front. Weather's a little bit chilly still, but we have some sun peeking through, good cloud cover right now. The wind died down a little bit. It's still a little gusty, but should be better than yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it all we got today. I think we're gonna throw a little bit more straight retrieve stuff today. We were pulling fish late last night on top waters, getting them to follow. Jaime had one nip the back of a stagger. So we are gonna try a little bit more straight retrieve. Still gonna throw some pull paws at them and hopefully hit them on the uh, early afternoon major. That's kind of been the trend, the majors. So hold tight, we will uh, check back later. to come to your torpedo fish. Yeah, they're still around here. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, she's hot, she's hot. Small one. Yeah. Yeah, but they're gonna fish the windblown side. Oh, there's one. Ooh, ooh, he, she's hot. He's, oh no! She nipped you. Keep going. Keep going. She nipped it, dude. She's on it still. She wants it. She's fast. still there. Hi. She tossed it. She came out of nowhere. I don't see her, do you? No. She wanted it high. You see, she grabbed you. Did, did you feel it? No, she never grabbed it. No? No. She came right up to it and nudged it, like nosed it. Never opened her mouth or anything. It felt like she was grabbing it at one point. I'm like, <clears throat> she touched it. Small, like 30 something. 36 probably, yeah. yeah. Out of these current 80. I can't believe that sire catches fish on this thing. Let's cover the gophers, I think. This is a little more than normal. We would love to, but I would rather just go take a break. We put the boat inside the cover if we have to, which should be plenty easy to do. And we wait for these guys for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I have a feeling that from there to the right is gonna be pretty good. It's coming like a cell storm.
There's some rocks that extend out here. I don't know how far out they go though. Oh, I see this slab yet. Holy yeah. smokes, yeah. It's that's... a beautiful slab. I can see them underneath us too. There's a few. Got one? Rocks? I think it was a rock. It's very shallow over there. It's like a foot of water. Oh yeah, you see the crevices? That's mm -hmm. that's shallow as hell. Oh, there's a fish right there. I had one off. God, I thought I got nipped, Jaime. Was that a fish? Are yeah. You me? Oh yeah, big one. There he is right there. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Wow, that fucking big one. Right he right went here. under the boat. Yep. Trolley motor stopped. Drop that's, a waypoint on that. Yeah, I know where we are. She nipped it. I thought I got hit out there. Uh huh. And you I moved came in from the slab, and then and I came into the eight. Yeah. And I, I looked. I looked behind me. I looked underneath me. Everything. She must have nipped and then followed low. And as soon as I pulled the bait out of the water, all of a sudden I see her. She like surfaced right here and went down. And then you brought dropped her back. Dropped it back down. Let's just do this very slow. We're gonna circle back. Okay. That looked like a meat to upper forties. When the mosquitoes are out already? Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm coming. I'm coming. I still got it. I still got it. I still got it. My bait's down. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big oh. one. Big one, Kyle. Big one. Yep. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one, Kyle. Big okay. one. Okay. Get him up. Big one. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The beaver, dude. We needed that. And now the problem is. The net's upside down. This we'll, way. Do, we'll do it the old fashioned way. This way. <sighs> you, gonna, you gonna tell everybody what happened or? Yeah, well, we busted our trolley motor. Kind of we went on a down path there. Um, Kyle moved a giant on a rock complex out of middle of nowhere with deep water. Um, he moved another fish on a back eddy as well. About five minutes ago. About five minutes. And then uh, we said, hey, this area looks good. Let's just fish this other back eddy with current. And we were probably forecast in to that spot. I just got hammered out in the cast on a regular size walleye beaver that starts to lose most of the hair. <laughs> And I gotta say, this is real hair deer, deer beaver, not synthetic. And uh, yeah, I think we'll probably stretch 40, 41, yep. hopefully. Uh, she got me good. And if that's the only one we get, that makes up for a grind of a yeah. day today. Grind, grind, grind of a grind day. Grind of a day, guys. So, let's check it out. Wow, that's a fat fish, very fat. <laughs> Wow, very pretty. 41, 41 and a half. And a, yeah, 41 and a half. Wow. Heavy. Very heavy oh, for this that's size. That's a beauty. Oh honey. my god. I think you're giving me a shadow. There you go. Wow. What a Can beauty. Can you get a steal? Yeah, we'll She's get some gonna flap. Some stills. Okay. Good. Let's get her back. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. 
Got her. Well, folks, we just got inside. Uh, it was a grinder of a day, absolute grinder. Not much activity on the major today, which had been the common theme. Um, and then Jaime was able to pull it out at sunset with a nice fish, and we had a ton of activity. I think we moved five or six fish tonight, right before dark. I'm not sure how many are gonna make the cut in this video, but they are staging on the backside of islands that have been windblown for about the last three days. They're sitting in the eddies on both ends of the islands. Multiple fish on the same piece of structure. Yeah, grinder, but thankfully Jaime was able to pull it out at the end. Hopefully they're going on blades tomorrow. I had moved quite a bit of fish on blades tonight, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.